Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum. Greetings. Alishan Noh here and welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to introduce fuselage or shell and I 3D printed it. And also, I'm going to quickly assemble this right here. This turned out to be very nice and detailed uh, results after printing this on my Bamboo Lab X1C Carbon, my old trusted boy right here. Marshalless, a very nice printer. And uh, actually, I tested it. The Bell 206 guts fit really, really nicely. And you can do it after you have assembled the shell. You don't have to fit the base plate before doing the shell. So let's get to the introduction. What we have here is the hatch and for the hatch I have also designed a rubber band operated right here as you can see small pins rubber band operated uh, hatch lock which will be right here installed right here so I can actually uh, lock and unlock the hatch on top of the front nose section. So this is the front of the fuselage okay and print it out really nice and steady. It will also take uh, front side of the, uh, the skids and it has a built-in and the uh, dummy camera also built on the front and it will also take the front gun, uh, you know, machine gun, which is going to be rotatable using one of this pin. All right. After that, we have the central fuselage, which has a uh, you know slide in for the base right there on the back and also the back side of the, uh, the skids will slide in the rest is all uh, cosmetics on it printed out really nice and you know sturdy then we have the uh, another piece of the tail that will go behind the main uh, central fuselage and then i have the tail piece where you will also install the motor and you can run the motor cables uh, through here uh, it will go inside the tail and from inside the tail all the way they will come to the fuselage and connect to your module then we have uh, you know rocket pods and those sidewinder or hellfire missiles right here first I thought I would just print them separately then I, I realized that will be just way too many parts so I you know combine them and printed that together. They turned out to be very, very nice and adding them with the glue will be easier. And we have a skids. Now, why did I print a skids with, you know, separate these legs? You know, I could have printed them uh, at one time. Well, the reason is because I know 3D printing well and I have been 3D printing since 2016. So I know how and which orientation uh, printing is gonna turn out strong for your skids and which one not I will explain it later so now let me explain why I printed separate three separate parts for the uh, skids of the helicopter now you know the helicopter skids need to be very very strong because the whole helicopter weight will sit on it and sometimes you're gonna have hard landings so I could have printed them in one of course by adding a little bit of support so they will sit here and print all the way here with a little bit of support here they could have been printed in one go or I could have printed like this also in one go by adding a bit more of the supports however if you see the orientation like this printing this is going to print really nice and strong okay but this one will print layer by layer layer by layer and that means it will not be very strong and a little bit of weight because the forces on these are going to be this way okay in this direction so if it printed layer by layer it will be very easy to snap somewhere in between so that is the reason I designed them separately that you will print them laying orientation and printing laying orientation means the layers are built this way and that means here you have a straight line so now if you have apply so now if you apply force in these directions you can see that because it is a complete line okay complete uh, line curved line it is a stronger compared to if you had layer by layer 
right here it would be very easy to break i hope you uh, you have understood my idea right here that is why i printed in uh, three different parts they're very very easy you just put it in here and drop a bit of uh, a drop of ca glue or a glue of your choice now for the assembly i'm gonna use uh, these uh, this ca glue this is a very common ca glue you can find it in any market easily and it is very very quick to cure so you have to be very very careful with your fingers and the skin because once it gets on your skin your skin will be stuck to your uh, rc helicopter shell another choice for me is this a b epoxy glue which takes about four minutes to cure but it is very very strong in the long run however you will need a lot of cleaning uh, from those uh, you know joints after you use it so it's a good choice for a very strong bond but you know more work added so first i will go with this one and see how things go and if it is good and if it goes well all the uh, fuselage is nice and strong i'll keep it that way otherwise i'll use the ab epoxy now while i designed this i have kept many many things in mind and all the gaps and everything all the recesses all the lines everything designed in a way that they will actually fit just right making it easier for you to simply glue them and the parts actually fit really nice and perfect with a little bit of gap there so they don't stick okay you don't have to send anything just join them drop see a glue and they will join otherwise ab epoxy will also do the job thing with the uh, landing skids so gonna see so this another finder in here we go the first part to assemble dropping a bit of sea glue and quickly put it in drop something in the creases next let's install the tail fins before actually assembling the whole tail assembly because uh, you might want to use this gap right here and here for installation is still going to be easy and similarly I'm gonna install the other one here drop it hey Roger what you doing We're moving my camera okay so after the installation make sure the angle on both wings are right done now adding the tail section should be super easy and all you need to do is just fit it in here drop some glue all right though transparency of glue is really nice doesn't leave any marks but it wasn't cutting it so I had to use a B glue when you squeeze both parts together some of the glue will come out and I have for now just plastered it on the uh, you know creases on those gaps and later I can easily clean it and rub it out well painting will be uh, necessary of course I have ordered a spray paint kit airbrush kit from Timu and uh, as soon as it arrives inshallah I have paints as well I will be able to paint it and so it's time for me to learn this spray painting skill as well ornament of your helicopter but anyway I think the CA glue will do the job for this now if you want the holes to be you know pointing up or down it's all your choice how you want to do it now that the tail is curing I can join the mid fuselage to the front nose section and I've designed in this way that they will simply fit leaving you room to add your glue properly So mixing the AB glue well and after that let's just put it in quickly because this one actually cures pretty fast there you go there you go hold it here nice and make sure that you pull the edges the corners outwards so it will hold there now to install the hatch lock pin and uh, if you print it right 
and send it a bit. It's very fluid movement. Making sure there's no additional glue, and nothing will flow out, and I'll put it in. And while I'm holding it from top, I will just keep moving it, and bam, what do you know? It's actually done. Okay. All right, here you will add a rubber band which will cover, come here and cover from the back. So when this is moving, you know, the rubber band will keep pushing it forward and keep it in the locked position. Okay, so I added a rubber band. Normally a wider rubber band is best, but an ordinary one is going to do the job as well as in my case here. So I'm just gonna test it out and see how it goes, all right? So fit the back first and the front and push this one in. Yeah, it's a little bit uh, tight right here, which is good for me. It's like it's locking itself. So fits really nice, doesn't go anywhere. All right, and when I need to take it out, I have to push this in and take it out. So it's actually working. Now I can easily add the tail section to the main fuselage. Okay, once again, AB glue is going to do the job. What to do is add you know, the AB glue here and then join these two together. All right, epoxy has cured. So now the next step, I'm going to add the uh, landing skits. Basically, I can glue them, but I'm thinking just in case anything goes wrong, anything goes hard, you know, any hard landing, uh, I'm just gonna first fit and see if they're nice and tight. And if they are, then maybe we don't have to glue them. So for now, because it's the first fit, as you can see, it's actually going in all the way and it's nice and tight, not coming out. Okay, and similarly, the next, the other one right here, Okay, and it's not gonna come out. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna add hot glue on this one, just, you know, so that it doesn't come out. So next, all you need to do is add the, uh, you know, your ordinance, which is again, very easy. It fits really nice. And all you need to do is drop one or two drops of CA glue. I would hold my horses. I won't add them now because I need to sand that area right here, okay? And so you shouldn't make them permanent now. So all I need to do is later add them here and, you know, add, drop a CA glue and it will be okay. The nose cannon, I'm not going to add. Do on this cap down here, you have to put epoxy and just drop it in like this and hold it together, making sure that the epoxy does not catch anywhere or touch anywhere on the fuselage. And once it's done, you can see the gun will be a revolving one. Put the plate in or not? Well, it turned out that it is actually very, very, mashallah, easy to slide the plate in and then you will put two screws here and everything will be done. Before you actually put two screws in, okay, uh, I forgot to remove the supports. You have to remove the supports here and from down you can add a nut under here. I have a place for it. I will leave the measurements for those nuts for you. So you will have to put a nut inside, okay, and then the screw will easily, uh, you know, hold the plate in its place. And oh man, mashallah, it actually looks nice. Mashallah, very, very good. So everything actually fits nice and perfect. I'm very, very happy that my design turned out so good, mashallah. And it looks very, very nice. Everything fits nicely. So thank you very much for watching this how to assemble. Stay tuned for next video where I will show you how to install your Flywing Bell 206 V3 or V2 guts in this helicopter and get it ready for flying. Crabs rebuild, bounce back, that's
what I do. Fast we build, bounce back. Quick.